Welcome to our module on developing resilience. I'm Rick Campa, an Associate Dean and Professor of Wildlife Ecology at Michigan State University. Throughout this module, you'll meet many people as we discuss this fascinating topic. Our teaching team for this module includes myself, Olivia Chesniak, Robin Greenler, Sarah Hokinson, Celine Young, and Noah Green. Additionally, we've also invited numerous postdocs to contribute to this module and share their perspectives and insights on this topic. Work-life balance has been a relatively hot topic over the last 10 to 15 years and is often recognized as a common human struggle in the career and professional development peer-reviewed literature, as a topic at professional society conferences and for TED Talks, on medical facility websites, on blogs, in the op-ed literature, in discussions among faculty, postdocs, graduate students, and administrators around the U.S. and abroad. And it even shows up on Wikipedia. Any thoughts on why? Perhaps because people are concerned about burnout, i.e. either with the strains of at work or in their personal lives or perhaps both, and wondering how they'll sustain themselves and their careers while being happy, healthy, and productive over the coming decades. Work-life balance has been defined many ways in the literature, and according to Calamuth and Bro, as discussed in an article in the Journal of Management and Organization, an agreed-upon definition of this term has proven elusive. Clark, in an article in Human Relations, defined work-family balance as the satisfaction and good functioning at work and at home with a minimum of role conflict. Felstead et al. provided a fairly complex definition of work-life balance as the relationship between the institutional and cultural times and spaces of work and non-work in societies where income is predominantly generated and distributed through labor markets. Wow, that's quite a definition. Our team has chosen to drill down a bit more on this topic and discuss work-life balance in the context of how to develop resilience. So what's the difference? Work-life balance might be one of the many factors that contributes to you being resilient. What quickly comes to mind when you think of the word resilience? Don't look it up on your laptop or cell phone but share your thoughts on our discussion forum. Or, if you'd rather post on the question, what are characteristics of people when they are being resilient? We'll discuss the concept of resilience as it applies to you personally and professionally throughout this module. However, in the meantime, post and see what other MOOC participants are saying. For this MOOC module, we have four learning objectives. Namely, first, to describe why we are discussing developing resilience in the Postdoc Academy i.e. for you to consider thinking about seeking your personal and professional goals in this context. Second, to explore and discuss evidence-based approaches to managing stress and developing resilience, going through deteriorating to adapting, recovering, growing. And third, to identify opportunities for recovery from work-life stresses. And lastly, to develop, implement, and reflect on an action plan that will support progress on a personal and or professional goal that effectively supports resilience. We hope you enjoyed this module.